don't forget to subscribe for more reviews. Please also like. Thank you. Hello there everyone, Tom here again, and today we will be applying the Toy Hack stickers onto the uh, knockoff version of the Generation Toy Dump Truck, uh, also known as Long Haul. Yeah, uh, lots of things to do here. What do you say we just go ahead and jump into it?
So to finish this up, final thoughts, I'll go ahead and uh, show off, showcase some of this stuff, uh, show you what's different, what's not different, uh, <clears throat> talk about quality, playability, and cost. And after I get done with this, I will go ahead and I'll combine everything and y'all can take a look to see what you think. So having said that, let's zoom in here and take ourselves a look if we can at long haul. So as you can see, right off the bat, we have stickers right here. Now, they remolded this. Some of this stuff just didn't have a corresponding place. Uh, these aren't actually made for right here. Uh, let me rephrase that. They're supposed to go right here, but the place that they go on doesn't really exist. So I kind of had to fix that up. Uh, this says construct a corp right here. It's actually supposed to go like right here. And there's supposed to be uh, an additional piece right here where the license plate went on. So I kind of had to, you know, make do. This is just a sticker. I know it's a little bit different, but I kind of like it. Here we have headlights, we have a Decepticon symbol. Now, these actually go on the crotch plate, these two right here. But because he doesn't have the standard crotch plate, there wasn't a, a corresponding place to put it. So I kind of had to adjust a little bit, bringing it on down so we can take a look at this area. You can see we now have stickers here. In here, we have stickers here as well. An additional thing that I've noticed, these stickers look to have been made for right here. Which means, I think they flipped the back of the legs to fit right here. But, um, I mean, that's where the sticker goes. It just doesn't correspond right. This is a new sticker. Also, pardon me, this sticker right here on the crotch does not go there, but I made it work. Uh, I split the sticker in half and it, it, it works now. The toes right here aren't supposed to have this. I can't remember exactly where that goes, but there wasn't a corresponding spot. This is supposed to go on the primary toe, but it, it didn't, there wasn't a spot for it. So, having said that, this guy still gets a, a whole lot of new stickerage. Is that a word? Stickerage? We get all these up here. And uh, again, this has been remolded. I had to kind of put some of this together, whereas it wasn't exactly supposed to be. So I had to just kind of squeeze stuff together and hope that it worked right. I'll go ahead and I'll put him in vehicle mode. And we'll take a look at it from there. So in this mode, we see we've got the long haul sticker here. We've got these here. Neither of these are, they're not molded for it. Additionally, um, the Generation Toy model, his arms come up right through here. And these are supposed to go in right there. I don't have any place to put them. So these just aren't going to be possible uh, to put where they belong. So I didn't. Can't help that. We get the Construct the Corp right here on both tires. We get the Decepticon symbol. Again, it was just a little bit big, but I made it work. Um, we get these right here, as you can see. <clears throat> Pardon me. That little bit on the crotch plate comes through here. The stuff on the front, you can see the lights. Also, we have, I don't know if you can see it, there's lights back in here. Actually, I, I'd really dig that, to be honest with you. And we have headlights right here. So, yeah. That's pretty much what goes on here. The quality, uh, the, the, they're, they're good. They're, they're Toy Hack sticker good, so you know they're good. Uh, the playability, it certainly adds quite a bit of life to it. I would almost say too much life. It, it's... Typically, I'm all happy with having a little extra. I think this may just be too much. The cost of it was only eight dollars and a half, so I can't really complain. You get a lot for eight and a half bucks. Before I, I hold final judgment, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to put this all together, and we'll take us a look at it from there and see what happens. So the next thing you see will be 
hopefully the yellow Devastator. So just bear with me. folks I have to tell you getting it to this point has been a pain in the absolute ass I apologize for my tone of voice but man uh, I haven't had any issues putting him into combined mode until now and it may just be that I don't know maybe I'm tired maybe it just didn't want to work right I don't know but I'll zoom out here a little bit and give you all a perspective here as far as the stickers and whatnot it looks pretty good. I'm happy I got the set. I'm happy they go together. I like how they look next to the G2 Dinobots I have. Yeah, this has been a long time coming. And I'm very pleased for it to be over. Now if I could just find a Devastator gun, I'd be happy. Anyway, this is Tom. Thanks for watching. I'll see you at the next review. Thank you for watching my Papa's channel. Please subscribe and like. Thank you. It's just so hard, Doctor. After three million years, I suppose it's normal, but... Yes, go on. But the tailpipe emissions, they've become so bad, he's not allowed to transform in the house. Hmm... This is a pretty common issue with bots in their mid-three millions. Fortunately, there is a remedy. What is it, Doctor? I'll pay any price. Why, Vitaminogen. Is your partner complaining about your emissions? Do you backfire with no warning? Do your friends avoid you with stupid excuses you know are fake? Then try Vitamin John today. Try our three-week starter pack, guaranteed to rid you of your emission problems or your money back. What do you have to lose except your stinky emissions? It's amazing, Doctor. He's like a young bot of two million. And we owe it all to Vitamanajon. Yippee! Wow. Vitamin John, operators are standing by. Go now! <laughs>